Greetings, everyone. Let's take a look at some weight-based problems and how to solve them. So we're going to start out by um, giving you a few of the things that you know. Some of this might be protocol-driven. Some of it might be an order that you receive from a physician. All right, so let's start out and say that we have a patient who weighs about 176 pounds. And, folks, I appreciate that these numbers are random. I'm using them because they work out nicely. But uh, please understand I, where there's a lot of margin of error when we guess a weight. We're usually over or under. It's always best to weigh the patient but obviously when they're in cardiac arrest or they're in an emergency situation, um, weighing an adult is probably not a reasonable thing. Um, and there are some ways that we can uh, evaluate pediatric patients to get a reasonable uh, weight anyway. All right, so this patient weighs 176 pounds, and uh, we have to administer lidocaine to this patient. In fact, we have to administer um, 1.5 milligrams per kilogram of body weight to this patient of lidocaine. So let's take a look at what we need to do here. Remember that you'll always need to use this formula, and that formula is the desired dose over what you have, so the desired over the on-hand dose, and you multiply that by the volume that the on-hand dose comes in. So this is the desired dose, and the desired dose is gonna be divided by the on-hand dose and we're gonna multiply all of that by the volume that the on-hand dose comes in. All right, so let's take a look at what we have to do here. As you know, with all problems, we have to convert pounds to kilos first, so let's do that. 176 pounds, we're gonna multiply that by our factor, which is one kilo, 2.2 pounds, and this equals 80 kilograms. All right, so this is our patient's weight in kilos. All right, so now we have something to work with. As you can see, this is gonna come over here for us and we're gonna say we need to administer 1.5 milligrams per kilogram so we're gonna take 80 kilograms we're gonna multiply that by 1.5 milligrams for every kilogram of body weight let's get rid of our repeated units and then we can do this multiplication and this will give us 120 milligrams of lidocaine this is what we need to administer total so now we need to know another component here, and that is, well, what concentration and volume does lidocaine come in? And here's the answer. Well, first of all, you can always look on the box. Within a month, you'll know all of these anyway. All right, so lidocaine comes in a 100 milligram in 5 ml pre-filled syringe. So let's take a look back at our... Uh, at our formula here, the desired dose is 120 milligrams. This is what we desire to give to the patient. So let's put that down on the paper. This is 120 milligrams. Now we need to figure out what is our on-hand dose, and the answer is 100 milligrams. So we're going to take our desired dose, we're going to divide it by our on-hand dose, and then we're going to multiply all of that by the volume that our on-hand dose comes in. So we're gonna do this, and this is gonna be five ml. So let's figure this out very quickly. This is gonna be pretty simple for us. Let's get rid of the things we can get rid of. Milligrams divided by milligrams, that cancels each other out. Next thing we can do is you can multiply this however you want to, but uh, if you wanna just do this so that you can do it in your head, you can do 120 times five divided by 100. Perhaps that's the easiest thing. So if we do 120, and we multiply it by five, we end up with 600, and we divide that by 100, we can get rid of these zeros here, and that leaves us with six, and what's the unit? Milliliters, six milliliters. So if we have to administer lidocaine at a dose of 1.5 milligrams per kilogram to an 80 kilo patient, we're gonna end up with a total infusion volume of six milliliters. Now, folks, I'll draw your attention to this. On cardiac arrest, you'll often see one of these pre-filled syringes of lidocaine administered to the patient if they're in V-fib or VTAC arrest. And I would advise you strongly to consider that you're underdosing the patient because if we only give 5 mLs, they're only receiving 1 milligram, which means they're receiving a sub-therapeutic dose of that 1.5. They're receiving like 1.2. They're receiving 1 point something. Most of our adult patients are right around the 100 kilo mark. They're even heavier than this. So they're actually going to receive 
seven and a half milliliters. They're going to receive 1.5 times this, meaning that you're going to have to give more than one prefilled syringe in order to uh, to get to, to the dose that we need. All right, so hopefully this serves as a good resource for you, and uh, we'll do another problem here. So let's get rid of this guy, and let's start out with a new problem. So this will be a, a new patient, and this particular patient is a pediatric patient, weighs 44 pounds. Again, I'm using these numbers because they work out nicely. Um, and this patient is in supraventricular tachycardia, SVT, and we have been uh, given orders to administer adenosine to this patient. And adenosine for this patient is going to come in 0 0.1 milligrams per 1 kilogram of body weight. That's how much we need to administer. Um, the other thing that you need here, the other component, is that adenosine comes 6 milligrams in a 2 milliliter vial. All right, so that's, the, that's how it comes. All right, so first thing we need to do here, as always, 44 pounds. Let's convert that to kilograms by using our handy dandy conversion whoops let's get rid of that and that and let's change that to pounds we can get rid of pounds this equals 20 kilograms so this is the patient's weight in kilo all right next what we're going to do is we're going to take the patient's weight in kilograms we're going to multiply it by the total um, amount of the drug that we're supposed to give per one kilogram of body weight Let's get rid of our units that we don't need. This is going to tell us we need 2 milligrams of adenosine. So this is our total amount of adenosine. This is the number of milligrams that we're going to administer. So this equals actually our desired dose. So remember desired over on hand times the volume that it comes in. That's our formula, always our formula. So we're going to take our desired dose, which is 2 milligrams. We're going to divide it by the on-hand dose, that's 6 milligrams, and then multiply all of that by the volume that comes in, and that's 2 milliliters. So again, you can do, um, you can do however you want here. If you want to do 2 divided by 6 first, if you want to do 2 times 2, and then divided by 6, it doesn't really matter so long as you, uh, as you kind of incorporate all the numbers here. It doesn't matter if you divide first or you multiply first. There's no, uh, there's no magic here. All right, so in this case, I'm going to just say uh, we're going to end up with 4, 2 times 2, over 6. All right, and we can, of course, simplify that to 2 thirds. Right, and if we want to decimalize that, or if you used a calculator, you would have ended up with um, 0.67. Now, what's the unit? Remember, our milligrams are going to cancel out, so milliliters is our unit. This is 0.67 ml. So we're going to administer a total volume of 0 0.67 mLs of adenosine in order to satisfy a 2 milligram requirement. All right, hope this helps. Bring any questions you have to class.